Planets and stars are visible if one uses a blank properly. Is it A, horoscope, letter B, binocular, letter C, telescope, or letter D, microscope? Okay, ano kaya yung tamang sagot sa number 10? We can easily see the planets and stars if we use blank. All right, many of you are already picking the answers. Mostly, most people are picking letter C, telescope. Okay, tinanong muna natin isa-isa itong ating mga choices. Letter, D, uh, letter A, horoscope. Of course, hindi na ito. Horoscope po ay yung ating kapalara, no? Your, the alignment of the stars. Okay, alignment of the stars. Usually, this is based on the zodiac signs. In zodiac signs po natin, ay meron din siyang corresponding na constellation. So constellation, grupo ng stars na nagpo-form ng different shapes sa ating sky. Pag yung inyong um, zodiac sign is Aries, for example, meron din tayong tinatawag na Aries na constellation. Meron din Gemini, meron din Cancer, and so on. So horoscope po, ito yung ating kapalaran based on the alignment of our stars, based on the different constellations that we have which have the same names as our zodiac sign. Pero hindi po ito yung ating tamang sagot. Okay? Is it letter B, binocular? Binocular naman po. Ito yung tinatawag nating telescopio kasi sa, sa Pilipinas, no? Sa Tagalog, ang tawag din dito telescopio. Yung usual siyang ginagamit mong ganyan. Pag nasa beach ka, gusto mong tingnan kung sino mga lumalangoy. Okay? So that's your telescope. Telescope na tinatawag natin. Telescopio yung tinatawag natin sa, sa Tagalog but that is your binocular, okay? The usual things lang na ginagamit natin, it's not really for scientific usage. And of course, let us see telescope. Telescope, this is telescopio. Ito nga yung ginagamit para tingnan kung ano yung mga heavenly bodies that we have in the sky, okay? So pag may eclipse, pag merong mga alignment ng planets, okay? This is usually what we use. Now, letter D naman, microscope. This is what we use if you want to see... Um, the structures of a microscopic organ or organism or object. So if there is something that is too small, too, too small for the naked eye to see, very small for the naked eye to see, then we use our microscope. Okay, the correct answer here, of course, would be letter C, telescope. Now, fun fact po about the telescope, lumalabas din sa let. The, the first person to use the telescope or the person who discovered or who devised, who invented the telescope, is Hans Lippershey. Okay, so yung pinaka-inventor po ng telescopio ay si Hans Lippershey, hindi po si Galileo Galilei. Okay, which is contrary to our belief. Karamihan kasi sinasabi na si Galileo yung gumawa ng, or nag-invento nag ng telescopio hindi po yung totoo. Yung una pong nag-invento talaga ng telescope na lumalabas din sa let, sa let, no? Ito po ay si Hans Lippershey, not Galileo Galilei. Kaya lang, si Galileo kasi yung unang gumamit nito to study the heavenly bodies. Siya yung unang-unang gumamit nito to study the sky, to study the stars, the planets, etc. Okay, so kaya medyo mas naging popular si Galileo but the, the person who really invented the telescope is Hans Lippershey, not Galileo. So pag nakita niyo po ito sa left, Wag niyo pong ipipik si Galileo. Galileo is not the inventor of the telescope. It is Hans Lippershey. Si Galileo lamang po yung unang gumamit nito to study the heavenly objects. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, telescope.